Okay, here we have another rational expression, and we're going to reduce it to lowest terms. We're going to do that by factoring the numerators and denominators, rewriting division as multiplication of the reciprocal, and then factoring out common terms. So this one's going to be a little more difficult and involved, but let's see what we have here. Everything's going to factor. I'm going to factor this numerator of the first expression as x minus 3 times the quantity x plus 2. The denominator is going to factor into x plus 5 times the quantity x minus 3. Right here we have the difference of two squares. That's going to be x minus 5 times the quantity x plus 5. Make sure I get my parentheses in there. Down here, it's another trinomial. It looks like it's going to be x minus 5 times x plus 1. x minus 5 times the quantity x plus 1. And now I know I'm going through these pretty fast. If you want to check my work, go ahead and work these out. Factor each of these trinomials on your own. It's always good practice to keep factoring. Finally, we're going to rewrite this as multiplication of the reciprocal. So this x squared minus 1, we're going to write in the numerator, and we're going to factor it. Once again, this is the difference of two squares. You should be able to recognize this by now. We're going to rewrite that as x minus 1 times the quantity x plus 1. The numerator here is going to become the denominator. We're going to rewrite that as x plus 3 times the quantity x plus 2. That look like that should work out just fine. So now we're going to go through, we're going to find common terms, and we're going to divide those out. Right here in this first term, these x minus 3 and x minus 3 factor out. Let's see, this x plus 2, we have one of those down here. What are the common terms can we find? x minus 5, the other x minus 5 is right below it. Those factor out x plus 5 is going to factor with this x plus 5. Finally, x plus 1 right here is going to factor with this x plus 1. We're going to rewrite everything we have remaining. It looks like we have a factor of x minus 1 in the numerator. In the denominator, we have a factor of x plus 3 is our final answer. So, this rational expression with three different terms, multiplication and division, once you factor the trinomials, you're going to find enough common factors where the final uh, reduced problem is just x minus 1 over x plus 3.